Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I felt like playing some of the Gunlands and I realized I didn't actually take it to one of my favorite monsters to go fight in this game, specifically being Nagakuga, so I'm gonna go do exactly that. And I haven't played Gunlands pretty much since the last Gunlands video, so I should probably do that to at least keep a little bit of practice I'm using the high damage variation, which might be a mistake, we'll see. And by high damage variation, I mean for the, the skill set that I had, it was a high damage variation at least, so hopefully... It's not too bad, but we'll see. That was a Hellfire knockdown, I think. I believe that was Hellfire. We'll take it. I also... Why is Jax over there? Jax, what? What are you doing, buddy? Look at him over there. <laughs> He's really trying. He's definitely trying. Nope. Forward. Okay. He attacked. No? Okay, I thought he attacks out of it if he only does one. I was way too early. It's alright. Nope. Second one. Ah, okay. That's uh, a little bit of a complication. I don't have enough guard to actually go through that with the high damage set instead. Which is a little concerning. Hopefully I can guard this. Okay, we can. Beautiful. But No, it barely reached! What a waste. Jump. Thank you, sir. That's free damage. Also didn't have any stuff. Oh my god, I I can feel it. I'm so rusty with Gunlance, jeez. There's the damage check, okay. Was just getting a little concerned, because we definitely should have had it by now. I think Hellcutter's on this scroll? I can't remember. I hope it's on this scroll. Fine. Not gonna reach. Nope. Second one. Reload. Get that powder mantle out there. And some sneak attack. We'll take that any day of the week. Jumping? No jumping. Well, not the not the instant jump, at least. He did still jump, just not the one that I thought he would. Okay. That jump. Enrage. Doing it again? No, you're not. Okay. Towards him, maybe? Ah, oh, come on! I definitely input it, but that's alright. There's the Enrage. Smack him in the face. Jump. Oh, tail. Interesting. Nope. Right, the last time I was playing Gunlance, I was trying to get used to actually um, using Reverse Dash to get damage out, and then reload off it instead. Because that would give me way more damage than what I was doing. Yeah, I was going to say, it hits stupidly early. It's a bit annoying, but once you learn that it hits early, it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Okay. Fine. There. And there. I wanted to reverse dash through it, but we didn't quite get it in time, which is why I delayed saying there. Nice and simple. On the face, get that extra damage in as well. Should definitely go for a... Okay, yeah, as I said earlier, I'm pretty sure we don't have a card for that, and it was true. Um, how can I activate the dogs then? What attacks could I use? To the left. Nice and simple. I guess that works. We can do it here. Get the dog spinning. Why is Jax so far away today? Lad's being arranged poppers today, apparently. Just does not care about actually giving me some decent damage from his blades. Which is very unfortunate. I should have 100% done a like big attack or something for it there, but that's alright. Uh, we don't have any pillars either. Not that good. This arena continues to haunt me. Should really just like get to the grind and get the uh, good arena for this monster. Because it would definitely make it quite a bit nicer to deal with. Poke Hellcutter. Fine. Oh, you would. Yeah. As soon as... As soon as I saw him start that animation, I was like, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't he do that? Fine. Okay. <laughs> what an odd roar. I'm a roar and then just stand still for a bit. There. I said it hits stupidly early for some reason. Just learn to deal with it, honestly. That's fine. Did a reload beforehand so we could go straight into the damage. Just to get a little bit more. Get an attack off that. There. 
Reverse dash. Get some more damage. Try hit good hit zones with it. This is generally... Why did I do that? I am so rusty with Gunlands. It's a good thing that I actually put the weapon on today, because... Oh, I, I am genuinely so rusty at this. Okay, that's fine. There. Reverse dash. Okay, he didn't do it. Maybe break the other arm, get another topple. Would be a decent idea. I should have reverse dashed that. I don't know why I didn't. Bro, it's so delayed. Okay. Instant. And then the long one. Maybe if I go to a different angle, he'll actually drag me far enough for that. Because that's twice we've missed it now. So maybe... Pain. The ledge cancelled my animation. <laughs> oh no. Attack out of that. There. Fine. Spin. Spin. Get damage off at this time. We got another damage check. Gonna hope it's on blue. It is on blue. Actually, I think... Um, both scrolls have Hellcutter for this build. Because there's no way to reliably keep Ground Splitter active if I'm getting knocked back. Without guard, because I don't have guard on here either. Because I traded it for more damage. Okay, that's fine. Because technically you don't need it all that much to have guard. It's just a very, very comfortable skill. And it lets you get extra damage out with... Ledge just cancelled my attack again. Nope. Yeah, guard isn't 100% needed. It's like... If you feel like you'll do more damage by getting the guard stuff out, it's good. That time I got it. Okay. I should have definitely just reverse dashed off it off rip to get the reload. Basically wasted a action. If this was a turn-based game at least. Okay, that's fine. Jump at me. No. You gonna do something else? Nope. I'm still doing... Still doing random stuff. There we go. Give me that opening. Missed the face, unfortunately. We definitely wanted to hit the face. Dodge. I had to delay it a slight bit to actually iframe. Fine, it should miss. Because we're way too close. No, no, no. What is Nagakuga aiming at? My goodness. Nope. It's fine, he should come back. There. There's no way that that drags me far enough, I don't think. Right, Running Man's horrible in this game, I gotta remember that. Okay, that's fine. There. Once again, I wasted the, the opening, but that's fine. There. Back towards him. It's an opening off it. Bop, bop, bop. Nope. Go to my right. You can tell which way he's going pretty easily. I'm pretty sure I've explained that before in this game. You can uh, definitely tell where he's going fairly reliably. Oh, go back. There we go. Get Jack spinning. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that uh, all of that messed up. Like every single thing that could have gone wrong there definitely went wrong. Get Jack spinning again. Nice and easy. Of course he instant buy it, but we had Intrepid. Oh my god, I am so rusty at Gunlands, that was horrible. But 821, not the worst. Now, uh, I played so badly, but it was fine. Gunlands is always a fun time at least, even if you play pretty bad. I think this should get down to like a 6 minute hunt, maybe 5. But either way, I am excited to see what they do with Gunlands in the next game. Whether I play it in an extensive amount like this game's, is yet to be seen. But uh, here was the build, of course. This is my more aggressive set, the... Fits more damage in for the loss of comfort. As I've always stated, Gunlance is completely built around your comfort with the Gunlance. So the better you are with a lot of its kit, the less defensives you need. I'm using an attack boost 3 with 3 2 slot. And here are the skills and decorations. Of course, all the green numbers are from decorations. If you want a screenshot there and there you can. As always though, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one.